Number five, we need to make those denominators match. And we got a five, a three. Other guy's got a bunch of X's, some Y. So let's make a match up. Let's deal with the numbers first, five and three. What can they both go into? What's the least smallest guy they can go into? 15. Well, how are we going to make that five become a 15? We're going to multiply him by a three, which means I'm going to multiply the top by a three. Over here for that three, I'm going to have to multiply him by a five to make him 15, which means the top's going to get multiplied by a five. So we've taken care of our number. Let's just go ahead and write that out. The bottom, we've got a 15. Now, what about the X's? He's got X to the third. He's got an X. So we can make everybody become an X to the third, right? He's already got everybody, so nothing there. But what am I going to multiply this guy by to make him X to the third and X squared? So multiply the top by an X squared also. That gives us our X to the third. Let's look at the Y's. He's got one Y. He's got Y squared. So Y squared is going to be our biggest that we have there. This guy on the left, he only has a single Y, so he needs to be multiplied by another Y, which means the top gets multiplied by another Y. And finally, this guy has a Z. He doesn't have any. So we're going to have a Z. This guy doesn't have any, so he's going to have to be multiplied by a Z down there, which means the top has to be multiplied by a Z. Now we can clean everything up. The bottom, we've already done. 3 times 6 is 18. X squared, Y, Z, plus, and then just over here, all we have to do is 2 times 5, 10. And there's our answer. We have actually gotten a common denominator and made everything equal and added them together.